The death of a child, that's something that's so difficult for any of us to hear. Tonight, one Charlotte father has lost two of his children after a devastating house fire, and his pain is far from over tonight because his baby daughter, son, and his wife are still fighting for their lives. Our Glenn Count spoke with him about the heartbreaking fire that happened in East Charlotte. Glenn. Well, Erica, he was actually on the phone with his wife when the fire started. Now, she heard the smoke detector, and initially neither one of them really thought it was all that serious, but then he started to hear screams followed by silence. Clementino Mendez Dominguez spends every second looking for hope. Now, I'm just kind of loose to everything. Clementino's wife, children, and other family members are fighting for their lives. His two-year-old daughter, Arianza, and nine-year-old son, Lionel, have already lost that battle. I'm still waiting for the three months, but they said it's not the men option. Clementino was out working when the fire started. He was on the phone with his wife when she told him she heard the smoke detector. He told her she better go and check it out. I just heard when she started screaming. She calls my sister, Letty, get up, the, the, the house is on fire. And I don't know if she hung up the phone or she just threw on the floor or something. And after that, I don't hear anything. That's the last time he spoke to his wife. She's in critical condition. Her heart stopped several times. Clementino is originally from Guatemala. He arrived 20 years ago, his wife 17. They were just trying to live out their version of the American dream. Now what's left of his family is just trying to survive. I don't know what to do. I've been walking in each room where they are. I wish to stay with my wife, stay every minute, but I have to go see my kids too. Well, after an extensive investigation, firefighters concluded that a, a lit candle left near some combustibles is probably what started the fire. Uh, Clementino uh, doesn't agree with that. He thinks that it might be some kind of electrical issue. Erica? Such a sad story to hear about this afternoon. Uh, Glenn, we know that there was a smoke detector in the house. Was it working? It was working and it did work. Mm -hmm. And uh, firefighters are glad that it did because it enabled uh, a couple of relatives to, to actually get out. And they went to a Baptist uh, hospital in Winston-Salem and uh, they are fortunate. They're probably gonna be getting out uh, sometime today. But uh, that fire generated so much smoke. Firefighters say that one breath would have been enough to incapacitate you, and they think that's what happened to the victims here. We're praying for all of them. Thank you, Glenn.